Capricorn. Uh, welcome to your September 2020 reading. Well, welcome to the Violet Realm. My name is Amy. Uh, nice to see you. So glad that you could join me today. Uh, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. We do offer private readings. All that information and our social media is in the description box below. So, all right. Let me connect with your energy. We're going to do some live shuffling today. And I'm going to channel as I go. So, so we can get for you Capricorn. I feel like you guys have been struggling. There's some struggle here with Capricorn energy. Uh, I think the last three to six months have been tough for you. Uh, there's some karma being worked out for many of you. And, um, you know, sometimes uh, it hurts. You know, I'm hearing it hurts. It hurts. It's hurtful. It's painful. I feel lost here for many of you. Uh, maybe there's been some endings in uh, uh, romantic relationships specifically. And uh, you may have been on the losing end of that or felt like you're on the losing end. But the truth is, is that uh, with spirit, the universe, what, however you want to uh, identify that, uh, begins to remove people from our lives. Uh, it's to make room for new energy. So Capricorn, I feel like you have bigger and brighter things to look forward to. Uh, there's some depression here. It's very important to work on your lower chakras. I'm gonna write that down. Your root and lower chakras. Okay. I will link some. Um, whew, the guys are coming in very, very quickly. Uh, I'm feeling this energy come in very quickly for you. Hmm. I'm feeling like there's an owl totem um, that is trying to come through for you, an, an animal guide. Uh, owls will be a sign in September that you are on the right path, owls or cats. There's some um, intuitive messages trying to come through in September. It's very important you begin to listen to your own intuition, Capricorn. Spirit would like to help guide you out of this energy that you've been in. But we all have free will, and you have to be receptive to it. And I know it's hard, right? Because a lot of um, a lot of spiritual things, um, apparitions, uh, visions, intuition, those kind of things, they defy logic because they exist in kind of a quantum matrix that only science is now beginning to really understand. Wow, Capricorn. I'm some interesting things for you for September. Yeah. There, there's ascension energy here. So you may not feel like you're ascending. You may actually feel like you are in your own kind of personal hell. But rest assured that that, that journey through that tribulation is temporary. Okay? It is to help you grow and become the person that you've always wanted to be. It's difficult, Capricorn. I'm feeling illness here. For some of you, you've been fighting illness. Yeah, it's been difficult. It's been hard. Some of you are still fighting the illness, but Spirit wants you to know that you're gonna, it's, it's going to be okay. It's just a lot of stress for you, Capricorn. A lot of stress. I think the universe would like to bring 1111. Uh, the universe would like to bring in new love for you, but you've got to move towards it. You've got to take action. I get five. All right, and and we'll, there's a lot of healing energy here. There's a lot of growth energy. Here's, here's how I understand it, and this is my own experience, but the, the more you descend into your own kind of personal hell, the higher you can ascend, okay? So the ascension for you is going to be very, very dramatic, dramatic changes. I'm hearing awakening of gifts that are latent, and uh, let's get one of these, latent gifts, latent 
um, it is sometimes through pain that we find out who we are and I feel like that is kind of the energy I'm getting for you guys and uh, let's see what the cards have for you so let's flip them over inner vision here we go decision Queen of Roses beautiful Solar plexus, yes. Love is all around. The mystic of peace. I am peace. When my mind is clear, the way is clear. Divine masculine action. Yes, the wands, wands. Balance, wands. And last. Okay. There's a lot of want, passionate wands energy here, Capricorn. Okay, so spirit is coming through with this message of a uh, comfort and peace for you. September is a time to really work on your solar plexus. Let's see here. Solar plexus chakra. The frequency of the solar plexus chakra. The, yeah, the, so sorry. Uh, ah, okay. The frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power, and our willpower, as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. I'm feeling a really silly energy with this card, so I, I really uh, think spirit wants you to play, be playful in September. Uh, don't take uh, things too seriously. I know you've been through a lot. Uh, I know that it's been tough, but really playful energy is very healing, and if you can get into that vibration, you will find that, you know, life isn't all that bad. Even though you've been through a lot, even though you may have um, be struggling financially or with your health or... Um, whatever applies to you, uh, sometimes it's okay to laugh. Laughter is very healing. I know for me personally, laughter has transformed uh, my health. So uh, laughter is vital for you and Cap Capricorn for you in September. We have all the, we have the the uh, the Knight of Wands here, Five of Wands, and the Two of Wands. Okay, so there's this energy, this need, Capricorn, for you to, where is it at, where is it, when my mind is clear, the way is clear, there is this need for you to clear your mind, clear your energy, so um, I'm going to add that as well, I'm going to add a clearing meditation, okay, there is a need for you to clear your energy, keep your mind clear, clear it often, um, because it's going to help you focus. And there is a need for you to make a decision to move forward and move out of this very, very painful energy, right? Um, this need to really, I'm hearing, rest your mind, rest your body um, in September, take care of yourself. Uh, don't be afraid to tell people no. Balance out your energy with this two of pentacles. Don't, um, if someone asks you to do something and you don't want to do it, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Start making choices that feed you instead of feeding other people, Virgo. It's very important that you listen to your inner voice, that you listen to um, your inner knowing because there's, there's divine communication here. They're, they want to talk to you and let you know that love is all around. Love is all around. Uh, don't be in fear. You're divinely supported in this journey. It's it's not going to be easy, okay? It, it from my own experience, when everything falls apart and you may be struggling with your health, you may have serious financial issues and things like that. It's it's not an easy road, but it's worth it. It really is. But you have to apply action. We have divine masculine for here, <clears throat> and I think for many of you, uh, spirit wants you to know that. Um, this is coming for you, okay? This divine masculine energy is coming towards you. This is a person. Uh, and this could be either gender, it doesn't matter. This is someone who um, has a balanced divine feminine and divine masculine, okay? This is a balanced person who will really help you uh, connect, connect to to the love that's all around you. I, I keep hearing love is all around you. They want you to know you're loved. I feel like a lot of Capricorns uh, have not felt loved and appreciated, have not felt valued, and that's coming forward for you. 
that's coming forth for you. And um, it's beautiful. It really is lovely. The Queen of Roses here. Okay, so this, this is the Divine Masculine Energy of the Queen of Roses, okay? This is uh, someone who knows who they are and values themselves. I'm hearing Queen of Hearts. So this is someone who is very compassionate and uh, will really care for you, Capricorn. If you will let them in, your guard is up and I feel it. I feel it very much. And uh, I understand this, this Five of Swords energy, this, this feeling of just needing to block out and fight everything that comes towards you. This uh, sense of like constantly being, on, I'm hearing hypervigilant. So always being vigilant, always waiting for the other shoe to drop. And Spirit wants you to know that that time is coming to an end. And you're, you're fixing to move into a new cycle. I'm hearing new cycle for this Capricorn energy. Um, yeah, it's really lovely. Okay, so let's see if we can get um, some advice. some past life energy here, some healing within. You guys might start getting downloads about an Egyptian past life. We have the Hathors. Um, we the Hathors. Deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. So this is a new cycle. This is a birth of a new you. This is a new possibility for your life that you are walking into. Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change. So this is a call for you to uh, free yourself of people, places, jobs, all that kind of stuff that doesn't serve your higher purpose. So, um, and doesn't align your life with what you truly want. I think September, you're going to need to rest and balance out and really connect with the fact that you are loved. People love you, okay? Despite what you may think, people love you. And it's a time to heal. And sometimes when we heal, that means that we let go. And we have to let go of people. And it's not easy. Um, I know personally in my own life I've had to let go of people and it's been extremely difficult. So I understand the difficulty here, but there's a, there's a connection of love for you in September that is powerful. And if you allow it to come in, it will help you with this energy of needing to release people, places, and things and toxicity. So you can bring in this peace and you can move towards this person who is coming towards you. So you can move and they'll move towards you and it's really beautiful. All right, Capricorn, that's what I got for you for September 2020. Uh, if this resonated or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to talk to you guys. Um, again, we do private readings and all of our social media is down in the description box below. So join us on those. And I enjoyed uh, reading for you today and I hope to see you next time. Bye Capricorn, see you later.